実はかわいいメイドさんだったのです<笑> Welcome to the 20th episode of Taki Soba with a review for Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid I'm the anime master Malesh here with anime casual Nate Dragon Maid is an anime about a dragon who takes human form and becomes a maid That's just about it It's a simple premise but sadly I didn't like this anime However, I didn't think it was that bad. I can sometimes appreciate Japanese wackiness, but this anime didn't do it for me. Let's talk about the brief story. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid aired in January 2017 and ended in early April with a 13 episode run. Dragon Maid was filled with many wacky moments. The story starts with Miss Kobayashi getting drunk one night and stumbling upon Toru, a real dragon. They end up having a lively discussion, eventually leading to Kobayashi asking Toru to live with her. Toru accepts this offer. From there, Kobayashi's life is forever changed, going from a lonely one to one filled with many eccentric dragon friends. Each episode is filled with hilarious and zany moments, with an episodic structure overall. Being a comedy, the story is simple enough to follow and it never undertakes any serious issues. To put it simply, I had no problems with the story. It's clearly a comedy, so nothing requires any suspension of disbelief. Everybody is just a powerful shape shifting dragon because why not? The style of comedy just wasn't for me. There were moments where I laughed, but for the most part, I just thought it was pretty dumb. Unlike other shows where I've criticized poor pacing or lack of interesting elements, this anime doesn't have either, so if you like this type of nonsense, you're good to go. The primary characters are, of course, Miss Kobayashi and her dragon maid, Toru. Kobayashi works as a software developer, and her life is pretty bland, like her personality. She got so drunk the night she met Toru, she basically went off the rails, and Toru was totally into it. Thus, Toru randomly but amusingly falls in love with Kobayashi and wants to be her maid. Over time, Kobayashi's character actually grows as she learns to accept Toru as a friend and converses with other dragons who are in human form. The first one is Kana, the lowly dragon who has a wonderful deadpan personality and is extremely cute. Kana lives with Toru and Kobayashi, whom she views as her mom. From there, we get my favorite dragon, Fafnir, the only dude dragon. He acts edgy and loves video games. He ends up living with Kobayashi's friend and colleague Makoto, who is a huge nerd. Next up is Zuko, a fun loving dragon that ends up living with Kana's schoolmate, Shota. Lastly, we have the best girl dragon, Alma, who just wants to blend in with the humans. I love the dragon and human interactions. It was dynamite. Conversely, there are some disturbing sexual scenes between Kana and her friend Riko, and with Shota and Luko. It's not fun seeing these little kids being in these sexually driven situations, and it tracks from the enjoyment of the show. Dragon Maid was produced by God's Gift to Earth, Kyoto Animation. Kyoto Animation is a legendary studio known for shows like Clonad, Kayan, Sound Euphonium, and many others. They have unique art styles that mix Moe with modern anime styles, which creates a cute and fresh look to their characters. Although Dragon Maid is a comedy show, Kale Tony still added amazing animation for the fight scenes and transformation sequences. Another thing I really loved about the animation was the background, which looked like they were drawn with crayons, which was a really dope effect. Overall, I love Kyoto a n i and their efforts with Dragon Maid. I too love Kyoto Animation for their work on Kayon and Sound Euphonium, which both look amazing and share similar styles. Dragon Maid doesn't look like those shows, it has a simpler and looser style closer to Nichijo. I think the style fits the theme of Dragon Maid in the same way. Dragon Maid also has some really good looking special effects here and there for the dragon's powers, which look pretty neat. Now I'll move on to the soundtrack and voice acting. I enjoy the quirky soundtrack of Dragon Maid. It is filled with unique songs that add to the comedic nature of the show. The opening and ending themes are also great. They fit in brilliantly with the theme of Dragon Maid and are extremely catchy as well. For the voice acting, I enjoy the Japanese acting, especially Kana's, who nailed her role. I have seen parts of the English dub and was impressed by how well done it was. You can't go wrong with either language. Since the English dub is being broadcast by a delay of several weeks, I watched the Japanese audio so I could catch up in time, and I did like it. I also liked the English dub and thought it was good enough for any anime watcher. As for the background music, I didn't pay much attention, but what I did notice was good. I strongly disliked the opening theme, but the ending theme made up for it. In conclusion, I think this slay little oddball of an anime just isn't for my tastes. All of the key points of this show are good, and I think the positive ratings reflect that. My biggest side complaint is the previously mentioned sexual innuendo between two third grade age characters, and even the pedophilic interactions between Lukua and Shota. 
These tropes are not uncommon in anime, but still very uncomforting. However, I believe that if you watch the trailers for Dragon Maid, whether or not you like the trailers will be an exact representation of whether or not you like the entire show. If you're interested in it, then go for it. If you think it's dumb, then just skip it. The dub is perfect for any interested anime casuals. Dragon Maid was a highly anticipated anime for me this season. I can gladly say it lived up to my expectations. I had a blast watching it. If you're looking for an awesome looking episodic comedy that has dragons, you gotta watch Dragon Maid. You can watch Dragon Maid with subtitles for free on Crunchyroll. Currently, the English dub is only available on Funimation with a paid subscription. As always, if you've already watched Dragon Maid, please click the link in the description for a post-view discussion, which includes some light spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of Ms. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Please give it a like or comment for feedback. We'll see you guys next time with a review for the anime film, Saint Young Men. Ciao.